Okay, so here we go. Um, this this is not my map, but um, it uh, it shows um, the historical uh, territory of Thrace, and as you can see, it's pretty large. It goes up and um, <clears throat> includes a large part of what is now Bulgaria. Um, so when you hear about um, Eastern Thrace and Western Thrace in the catalog, you know stamps are listed that way. Um, that only refers to the southern part of Thrace, which were southern part was divided into the eastern and western part. But but northern Thrace uh, actually became a part of Bulgaria rather early on, as as we'll see as I go into the history. Now, as you all know, I'm very interested in the historical background of these stamps, and I find that it, you really to understand the stamps and why they're overprinted the way they are, you have to know the history. There's no substitute for it. So I, I hope we don't bog down too much in details. But um, before I get into the history of Thrace, let me just um, remark that both Thrace and its neighboring territory of Macedonia, which is basically, if you can follow my cursor, all of this territory here uh, next to Thrace, which is um, part of it is now the Republic of North Macedonia, and part of it is Greece. Um, both. Thrace and Macedonia have significant um, ethnic variety. In other words, um, several different ethnic groups occupy these territories. And that's basically the reason why they're now divided into a southern part and a northern part. In both cases, well, part of a southern Thrace is now in Greece and the rest of it is in Turkey, but the northern part is in Bulgaria. With Macedonia, you have the southern part in Greece and the northern part um, consisting of a Slavic uh, uh, population. Uh, Bulgaria and Macedonia and Serbia are all rather closely related Slavic groups. Getting into the history of Thrace, um, until 1878, all of Bulgaria and Thrace belonged to the Ottoman Empire. Um, following the Russo-Turkish War, the Treaty of Berlin, that's the treaty signed in 1878, created for the first time an autonomous state of Bulgaria. I should say for the first time since the Middle Ages, there had been a kingdom of Bulgaria back then. Um, now this original autonomous state created in 1878 was still technically part of the Ottoman Empire, um, although they didn't exercise much actual local control. Um, and that extended from the Danube River in the north to the Balkan Mountains, which are now in the middle of Bulgaria, but at first formed the southern boundary. The northern part of Thrace, from the Balkan Mountains um, to a point uh, north of the coastal plain, became the semi-autonomous province of Eastern Rumelia, which you'll find in your stamp albums and catalogs, um, while southern Thrace remained in Ottoman hands. This Arrangement only lasted a short time. Uh, there was an uprising in eastern Rumelia, aided by the Bulgarians, uh, which uh, resulted in the territory being taken over, made into part of Bulgaria, and known after that as South Bulgaria. Um, it wasn't until 1908 um, when um, the Turkish, the Young Turk Rebellion in, in Turkey uh, allowed an opportunity for Bulgaria to achieve complete independence from the Ottoman Empire. Um, here are the first stamps issued for Eastern Rumelia. Um, the one on the left is in the Scott catalog as, as is Eastern Rumelia one. And I believe this is a genuine stamp. It's, it's not a terribly rare or expensive stamp. The one on the right, however, which I had in my, in my album, you know, in the place for Scott two, this is not number two. This is another stamp, which is not listed. You can see the overprint, the faint RO. This is either an item that was made by the postal authorities while they were busy overprinting uh, stamps. They, somebody took some other stamps that were not officially authorized or else it's just you know some kind of a fake. Uh, I don't remember where I got this stamp, but um, I have to look into it some more because I really don't know what it is. It's not listed in the catalogs. That is an enormous amount of writing for an overprint. Well, you it's mean like the Turkish writing? Poem. 
it goes on forever. The the Turkish writing is this is part of the original Turkish stamp, um, and <clears throat> it's only the the blue uh, large R O letters that were uh, overprinted for Eastern Rumelia or Rumelia Oriental. I can't ah. tell you what the Turkish uh, inscription says. The top uh, piece is Devlet, means state. And the left is uh, Ottoman. Ottoman is the uh, denomination. The right <laughs> side is the, uh, the, the, what the denomination is. I well, the P-R-E stands for Piaster. These stamps are very similar to the Turkish stamps issued around the same time. Um, only the inscription is different. You'll often find these stamps in old collections, you know, mixed in with the Turkish issues because they look very similar. Um, the uh, the name Eastern Rumelia is inscribed in three languages: French on the left, uh, Greek on the bottom, Anatolike Rumelia, and uh, Bulgarian on the right. Now, uh, after the territory was taken over by Bulgaria and renamed South Bulgaria in 1885. Stamps of Eastern Rumelia were overprinted with the Bulgarian lion. Now these stamps are notorious for uh, forgeries and fakes, and I have not studied them enough to be able to tell you with any certainty um, whether these are genuine or not. Uh, some of these stamps are, the genuine stamps are quite expensive. Uh, not all of them, but but some are. And uh, the I can tell you that um, the the overprint on the fourth stamp from the left, the, on the, the five paras uh, purple stamp, that looks more like the illustration in the catalog than any of the rest. Uh, the, the, the lion is a bit shorter and looks like it's running. Um, but wow. whether this is genuine, I really couldn't tell you. It, it's not unknown for Scott to depict uh, stamps and overprints that are not genuine. Although I'm sure they try their best, you know, they don't always succeed. Here's another overprint, uh, also for South Bulgaria. Uh, the inscription there since simply says South Bulgaria in the Cyrillic script. Now, at this time, as I mentioned, um, Southern Thrace was still part of the Ottoman Empire. And here are some stamps with postmarks from various towns. Um, Andrinople uh, is the the chief town in Eastern Thrace. And you'll find the name of this town written many ways, Andrianople, Adrianople, and it's also called Edirne. That's the modern name for it in, uh, in Turkey, uh, spelled in various ways. And then this, uh, this great place, Dede Agach, also spelled in many, many different ways. Um, that town was, it's a town in Western Thrace, now part of Greece, which was renamed, fortunately, Alexandropolis. So we don't have to deal with Dede Agach anymore. That whole territory was once part of the Roman Empire and yes. was referred to referred to by the Turks as Rumeli. Uh, well, that's where we get Rumelia. Rumeli or Rumelia um, is the name they gave to practically all of their European territory, except for uh, what's now Albania, um, and maybe a part of Greece. Um, and uh, so the, the part that's now Bulgaria was only the eastern part of Romelia. Here's Gumulgina, another uh, a name that's been changed. It's now called Komotini. It's in Western Thrace in Greece. And um, two forms of the same uh, name of the same town, Iskeche in Turkish and Xanthi in Greek. These are all from the period prior to the Balkan War. So this territory is still um, part of Turkey at that time. And you notice that the dates, the, the year is listed. This is 1902, but they don't put down the one. Uh, it's a common feature of the postmarks of that time. Here's, here's 1910, written as just uh, 910. And another one, uh, a somewhat smaller town now called Malkara. In, Eastern Thrace, now part of Turkey. Okay, so back to history. Um, at the end of the First Balkan War in June 1913, 
Bulgarian armies controlled um, all of Western Thrace, most of Eastern Thrace, and most of of, uh, of Northern Macedonia. I'm not going to read through all this. Uh, just get down to the important parts. Um, the First Balkan War uh, was concluded. Uh, actually, the fighting stopped in late um, uh, 1912, but there was a conference that went on in London uh, during the early months of, of, of 1913, and it ended with the Treaty of London, uh, according to which the Ottoman Empire ceded all of its European territories except for Eastern Thrace uh, to the Balkan League, the, the countries that had combined to drive the Turks out, Greece, Serbia, Bulgaria, and Montenegro. Uh, Albania was to become a separate nation. Uh, this was specifically at the desire of the major powers who uh, were eager to prevent Serbia from uh, enlarging its territories too much, uh, too much for their taste. The Serbian army was actually in control of a large part of Albania at that time, or the territory that became Albania. Uh, but that would have given them a seacoast on the Adriatic. Great powers, as they were called, uh, were eager to prevent that. So they created, they, they uh, acceded to the demands of uh, the nationalists in Albania, who had already gone ahead and declared independence. So their, their desire for a separate state was, was granted. Now, um, the treaty did not explain how the territories that these uh, the Balkan League had, had conquered were to be divided up, and this caused a big problem. Bulgaria and Serbia disagreed on how Macedonia should be divided up, and uh, Bulgarian forces then attacked uh, Serb positions, and that started the Second Balkan War, in which the armies of Greece, Serbia, and Montenegro, joined by Romania, who the Romanians had their eyes on a bit of territory that Bulgaria then occupied. So they joined in and helped to drive the Bulgarians out of Macedonia and even Western Thrace, which had been given to Bulgaria by the Treaty of London. Well, this led to complete defeat by Bulgaria. Uh, and during the Second Balkan War, uh, Greek naval forces occupied uh, the coastal cities, Kavala and Port Lagos are in Macedonia, Dede Agach is in Thrace, and uh, the Greek army also occupied uh, Xanthi and Komotini uh, in Western Thrace. And so, and I, I bring this up because this has consequences for the stamps that were issued. This uh, item is actually from the Bulgarian occupation of Eastern Thrace. Uh, it's specifically the city of, of Adrianople. Um, it's a postcard mailed from Adrianople during the Bulgarian occupation. Clearly, the postcard itself is celebrates the, the Turkish army, which at the time this card was sent was in defeat. But this is a beautiful picture of, uh, of uh, Ottoman cavalry uh, on a postcard that's franked with a Bulgarian stamp. Uh, you can barely make out this postmark on the stamp. It's postmark Odrin, which is the Bulgarian name for Adrianople, and then the receiving mark in Paris. Here's the back of this card, um, postmarked in Kara Agac, which is a, a, a village, I guess, near Adrianople, and uh, sent to Ligeux in France. Ligeux is a Catholic pilgrimage site, actually um, the home of St. Teresa and uh, in the Calvados department. Uh, there's, it, you can barely make it out, but this uh, smudgy black mark is a Bulgarian censor mark. You can, only if you've seen it before, would you be able to tell uh, what this is because it's, you know, it's printed so lightly. But that's, I believe that's what that is. During the, um, the occupation of Western Thrace by, uh, by Greece, by Greek forces that had uh, driven the Bulgarians out, um, they, they grabbed up some Bulgarian stamps that had been in use there and overprinted them with um, Greek administration of Dede Agach. 
there were other uh, overprints like this for other cities, but this is the only one I have that's in Thrace. The others are in Macedonia. This, this slide doesn't really belong in this presentation because it's not about Thrace. It's, it's, it's Kavala in Macedonia, but a similar overprint. Well, apparently they run out of they ran out of Bulgarian stamps to overprint, and so they began using these labels uh, for postage. Maybe some of you have seen these in the catalog before. The label consists of six stamps of of various denominations. There are three twenty five lepta, four ten le ten lepta deca lepta, and one five lepta pente. This is not really a cancellation; it's what they call a control mark. Um, just, I guess, further indication of its validity, showing an anchor. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, these were coastal cities. Bede Agach uh, was a coastal town occupied uh, by Greek naval forces. And the decision to issue the stamps was basically made on board the ships. And it was, an, it was basically a, a naval exercise. So we have the, the anchor here in the, in the uh, control mark. And uh, the, the mark le reads Aegean fleet. One curious thing I noticed, if you look down here at the bottom, the, the one five lepta stamp, the E of Pente uh, is a different typeface. They must have run out of uh, these italic capitals and just took another typeface to make the E there. As far as I know, this is on all the sheets, so it's not a rarity. There were two more of these sheets, each of these. This is uh, one example of a stamp from each of the small sheetlets of six stamps, um, again, with a control mark, and this time with a cancellation, a Dede Agats cancellation. They're nicely done, these labels. Uh, I don't think they saw a great deal of actual postal use. Practically, uh, all of them that you see are very fresh looking, and they have exactly the same cancellation and the same ink. So most of them were probably canceled by favor or uh, rather than actual postal use. If you had one of these on a genuine cover, that would be a rarity and no doubt quite, quite valuable. Now, further inland in Komotini, the Greek army uh, occupied um, that territory and they took the Turkish stamps that were available there and overprinted them with um, uh, abbreviation for Greek administration of uh, Gulmulgina. It's amazing to me how many Greek letters it takes to make that name. Um, it's now Komotini, very simple, but uh, at that time Gulmulgina in, in Turkish was represented this way in Greek. Now these, um, these overprints uh, are subject to forgery. And once again, I'm not certain that all of these are genuine. I think they are. Um, there are slight differences. You can see that this, the shield here, the, the Greek uh, part of the Greek coat of arms uh, is seems wider on this one than it does on this one, but it's also a different denomination. So, you know, the whole uh, uh, overprinting device may have been a different one. Uh, and that would account for the different shape. Now, uh, the French, uh, there was a French post office uh, operating in what was then the Ottoman Empire in Dede Agach. And um, they overprinted uh, regular French stamps with that name starting in 1893. And uh, that French post office operated until World War I. They issued a whole set of stamps similar to the regular French stamps of the time, but inscribed, uh, the French write it as Dede Ach, um, on the uh, on the stamp, and overprinted the higher values with the local currency of piastres. Now on to part three of the history. Um, while Bulgaria was busy fighting its former allies, that's you know the Second Balkan War, um, on July 21, 1913, uh, Turkey uh, recaptured Adrianople, uh, chief city of Eastern Thrace. And a new peace treaty replacing the Treaty of London was signed in Bucharest, Romania on August 10th, 1913. Uh, Bulgaria's share of Macedonia was considerably reduced to a small part uh, in, the, uh, in the south southwest of Bulgaria. 
Um, but the fact that Western Thrace was uh, given to Bulgaria in the Treaty of London was reconfirmed in, in Bucharest. At the time of the treaty, however, uh, most of Western Thrace was occupied by Greek forces. We've just been seeing the stamps they issued in Komotini and Dede Agach. And uh, the Turkish army uh, began a, a campaign to reconquer Thrace. Uh, now that the Bulgarians were on their back foot, uh, they started attacking uh, cities in Western Thrace and the Bulgarians asked the Greek army to remain temporarily in place but the Greeks were reluctant to do that uh, because, you know, the territory of Western Thrace had been given to Bulgaria, not to Greece. And uh, so they didn't want to fight the Turks. And in this situation, uh, some of the local inhabitants set up their own provisional government, which they called the Autonomous Administration of Thrace, which uh, operated a postal system during September and October of 1913. Uh, finally, um, the dispute between Bulgaria and Turkey was settled. And they signed the treaty on September 30th of 1913, but that didn't mean the Bulgarians were actually in control. So this autonomous administration of Thrace lasted a bit longer. It lasted certainly through October and maybe even later in 1913. And finally, the Bulgarians uh, took, uh, took charge. First of all, a beautiful set of stamps uh, commemorating the recapture of Adrianople. Uh, it's written on the stamp Andrianople. As I mentioned, there are many different ways of spelling it and pronouncing it. Um, the Mosque of Selim um, on Turkish stamps of 1913. These are the first uh, pictorial commemoratives of Turkey. I say pictorial because there had been a commemorative stamp in 1908 for the, um, the uh, issuance of the first constitution that Sultan was prevailed on by the Young Turk movement to um, allow them to write a constitution for Turkey. But that's not, it's not a pictorial commemorative. It's just a version of um, the ordinary uh, definitive stamps of that time with a special inscription for the constitution. So these, uh, these were printed in London, beautiful, uh, printing by Bradbury and Wilkinson. These uh, rather crude and primitive stamps by comparison are uh, issues of the autonomous uh, government of, of, uh, of Western Thrace. They used a local, uh, locally manufactured bronze hand stamp to make them. Western Thrace, it's uh, the inscription, I can't read it, uh, but I'm, I'm told by the catalog I'm using that the inscription says Western Thrace, and then the dates, the, the Islamic date, 1329, and the Western date, 1913. Um, Gumuljina, uh, the town where the autonomous Western Thrace uh, was uh, based, and provisional government. The first two stamps say provisional government, and then apparently um, it was decided that uh, the word provisional might make people nervous, and so uh, they they made the next inscription say autonomous government. This is uh, number one of this uh, set for autonomous Western Thrace. This is, uh, is a version of number two, um, but I don't believe it's genuine. This is actually a rare stamp. Uh, and the fact that it's printed on, on this dull brownish paper and it's, uh, such a sort of a smeary print uh, strongly suggests to me that this is actually a fake. I, I'd have to study it more to be certain, but that's what I suspect. Here's an example of two, two of the hand stamps side by side with a beautiful, uh, what they call a negative cancellation, um, with cancellation with a black background, um, and it's for Dede Agach. The uh, postal authorities in autonomous Western Thrace also grabbed up Bulgarian stamps and overprinted them um, with uh, autonomous Western Thrace and then the uh, denomination below. This would be 10, 20, uh, one piaster. Um, the, uh, the stamp on the right is, is um, the denomination is very faintly printed, but it's two and a half piaster. Uh, then there is a peculiarity about the high value, the, the overprint on the 15 
15 Stotinki Bulgarian stamp, that overprint is supposed to be sideways. Uh, the illustration in all the catalogs I've seen shows it sideways as it is on the, the neighboring stamp there, the three Stotinki. Um, so either uh, this was simply uh, an anomaly, it was overprinted um, you know, with the usual upright typeface or else it's a fake. They also took Greek stamps and used the same overprint for them. Again, these are the Greek, um, the issue called the campaign stamp. Um, this is from, it was issued right at the end of the first Balkan war um, when um, Greece had acquired a great deal of new territory. Um, they're sometimes called the new territories issue. Um, anyway, there were some of them around, which the uh, which were also used uh, by uh, autonomous Western Thrace. This is the final uh, episode of the history. Um, so World War One started, you know, a short time after. Uh, we're talking about 1913, so the very next year, 1914, um, Bulgaria. Um, not only retained control of Western Thrace, but with the help of, of German forces, extended its control once again over most of Macedonia. Um, however, again, uh, as in uh, as has happened previously in the Balkan War, the uh, Bulgarians were driven out by the Allied forces that had established a base in Salonika, and uh, Bulgaria ended up being the first of the Central Powers to uh, ask for a truce. September 29th, 1918. And as we all know, uh, the Germans finally uh, uh, agreed to a truce on November 11th of that year. So then the, the uh, peace conferences started um, by the Treaty of Nui, is that how you say that? Bulgaria relinquished control of Western Thrace. Uh, a very sad day for the Bulgarians because uh, controlling Western Thrace gave them uh, seaports on the Aegean Sea, um, and uh, they had to give that up. Uh, the uh, territory was taken over by Greek and inter-allied forces, um, and uh, it was agreed by the powers that were negotiating that, that Greece would be given control of Western Thrace. Um, the, the Greek army was ordered after that to take control of Eastern Thrace as well in order to forestall uprisings by the Turks. Um, the Treaty of Sev in 1920 assigned almost all of Thrace to Greece. Uh, this was um, uh, partly under the influence of the British who tended to be, to be extremely uh, pro-Greek. Uh, their idea was that Greece should control not only Thrace but also a fairly large part of Anatolia, which is now you know the mainland of Turkey. Um, however, that didn't last. Uh, in 1922, Greek forces in that whole area were defeated by the Turks under Ataturk. And then there was a whole new treaty in uh, 1923, the Treaty of Lausanne, which restored Eastern Thrace to Turkey, uh, but left Greece in control of Western Thrace. And that's how things remain to this day. Here are uh, Bulgarian stamps overprinted uh, race inter allié. I don't know how you say race in, in French, uh, Thrace or something. Uh, there are a lot of these different issues. Uh, first, uh, a, a, a typograph printing, and then these hand stamps. They must have run out of the first uh, printing because they resorted to hand stamps which of course went on in every different direction, uh, upside down and backwards. Here are more uh, printings, uh, formal uh, typeface printings, uh, Thrace inter allié and Thrace occidental, Western Thrace. Uh, all this was during the occupation uh, by the uh, inter-allied force. I suppose it must've been uh, Great Britain and France primarily with the participation of the Greeks. And after, um, after the control was turned over to the Greeks, they overprinted their own stamps with autonomous Western Thrace, a long series of, of definitive issues. Um, 
This, these are the high values, the drachma values, one, two, three, five, 10, and 25. On the 25, as you can see, um, the or prints in all capitals. And uh, the two stamps on the side there on the bottom have um, inverted overprints. Practically all of these stamps are available with uh, inverted overprints. Some of them are, are pretty common and others are more rare. Okay, so then when Greece was uh, assigned not only Western Thrace, but also Eastern Thrace, uh, they occupied the territory uh, with the uh, city of Adrianople and um, found, of course, Turkish stamps there, which they overprinted um, the High Commission of Thrace and uh, values in Greek currency, lepta and drachmae. You see, by the way, in the center on the lower row there is um, what looks like the stamp originally issued for the recapture of Adrianople after the Second Balkan War. But this is a different stamp. It has a different insignia in the corners, the tubra. And that's because a new sultan was inaugurated in 1919. And so they took, they reprinted these stamps with the tubra or signature of the new sultan. Uh, also, some of the overprinted ones here, the one in the center, mm -hmm. and the, were um, overprinted for the uh, accession of the new sultan. So this is a pair of, of canceled stamps that I acquired that inspired this whole presentation. Um, this was issued during the Greek occupation, uh, 1920, in a small town uh, near Adrianople. Um, Kupru, uh, Uzun Kuprulu, if I'm saying that right. This shows the original stamp on the left. Uh, the top row is the original stamp, and then the overprint for the accession of the new sultan, and finally the, this, that stamp overprinted uh, for the Greek occupation. Finally, we end up with um, stamps simply overprinted administration of Thrace. That would indicate both Western and Eastern. Uh, the entire Thrace was administered by Greece at that time. Here's a rather uh, uh, strange philatelic cover. I say strange because um, it's canceled August 24th, 1923. And that is really um, at the very end of the Greek occupation. Eastern Thrace had been restored to Turkey, but this is Western Thrace. Uh, this is Alexandropolis again. But uh, these stamps were no longer being used at the time. I mean, it, this, this territory was now part of Greece itself. And apparently at the very end of the occupation period, somebody put all these stamps on this um, envelope and uh, mailed it to London. So as to have, shall we say, a sort of a souvenir of the Greek occupation. There's a stamp on the back. This is the back of the same letter um, with a stamp that has no uh, no overprint, which would have been the correct postage for that period. Uh, it, I suppose it's possible that this stamp actually paid the postage and the others were just basically decorating the letter uh, because they were no longer technically in use. 